So we were in Sarasota today, just driving around. And we also went to the downtown area and seen Ireland's circle. But we decided to take a little detour here before we head back to Venice, just to give you an idea of different communities in Sarasota that are not HOA or planned communities, just so you get an idea of what what they look like, what the neighborhoods look like. The vibe and what's different. Mm -hmm. First thing that pops out to me, well, two important things. Bigger yards, no sidewalks. Yes. Backyards look pretty big too, pretty substantial actually. Yes. And we're pretty close to 75 here too. Like, I don't think you're gonna hear the traffic from it here necessarily, but uh, the convenience is there, I guess, if you wanna hop on to 75 to go somewhere. Yeah. I am a realtor. I can help you buy a home in Sarasota, Venice, Englewood, Northport. And anywhere in between. Dacomas, Osprey. Yeah, it kind of makes me think of some of the more, um, almost like rural suburbs in like Wisconsin. Yeah. That You know, that way, the feel of it. Mm -hmm. Or like even like Northport, almost how the houses are raised up and no sidewalk. Yeah, and you can tell like it's a little more laid back, you know, with as far as like the yards and everything aren't as super upkept or whatever else. But at the same time, nothing looks all that terrible either. Which you know, if you're some people like I know like my parents like they've talked about potentially buying something in Florida and I to them the idea of an HOA is just a no you know yeah. like they don't want to be told that you have to do this with your house or you're not allowed to or you know have all these restrictions so it just depends on the person and to us too it was like okay but like what's the point of paying a monthly fee for being in a community but for us it was mainly having sidewalks because you don't get that in most uh, yeah. neighborhoods in Florida, period. Yeah. So for us, the sidewalk was like a deal breaker. Yeah, it was a pretty big deal for us. <laughs> yeah, and it depends too where you are. Like sometimes if you're in a condo, that HOA could include your water, water bill or cable. cable. Sometimes even in villas, it'll include your cable. And in, in some HOAs, they'll do lawn maintenance if you're, you know, even for a house. It just depends. Yes. So, you know, it's kind of up to you to decide if it, what you get out of that HOA is worth it or not. Sometimes it'll include exterior maintenance of the house and, and things like that. Or mainly more with a condo, I guess that is, but... With the um, houses, it's mainly just the outside maintenance and then maintenance of, like, um, if they have a pool or a clubhouse or tennis courts. Overall, I like it though. It's quiet, obviously not as new as some of the new construction places and whatnot, but still relaxed, a little extra space. If you're interested in moving to the Sarasota area, make sure to contact me. I am a realtor. I can help you buy a home in Sarasota, Venice, Englewood, Northport. And anywhere in between. Dacomas, Osprey. If you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment, let us know your thoughts on the area, thoughts on HOA versus no HOA, because we're trying to get people's feel on that. And subscribe and turn on all notifications to catch the newest videos. We'll see you in the next one.